Good morning, Turtle Club. It is I, Max Synchro, with Convertible Turtle Gaming. And Convertible Turtle Unshelled, and Convertible Turtle on Facebook, and pretty much everything Convertible Turtle. Welcome to the stream today. We're going to be social distancing the Nintendo way once again with some Animal Crossing. Sorry for the small delay with coming here. One of the downsides of having Korak Man in the house is... Well, he kind of tracks leaves everywhere he goes, and you keep finding these little bit of gold seeds everywhere. But, hopefully everybody enjoyed him here. I, uh, have no problem with the Korok Man playing with us. Let's get the announcements going here. Kid! We have Kid joining our island. Kid is a new islander. A goat, which we happen to have found. We found them last night while we was on our lunch break. We found two things on our lunch break. We took a Nick Ma's visit. My phone. My phone is ringing. Tommy from Nook's Cranny. With 26,000 bells. Hey, we'll, we'll take that. And the Nook Crook boys, they open in about five minutes, so. Oh, we got mail. What do we got in the mailbox? We got something from Gulliver. We did check him out last night. Um, pockets are too full to hold this. We'll, uh, we'll get back to that in a second. Got us some Nook Miles. So, we found, we did, in fact, find a new resident last night. But the other thing we found, Turtle Club, was we found Tarantula Island. We're about to go to the bank and make us a little bit of bell cash. And then we're going to go, hopefully, get us some more flyer petals. Oh, a lost item. We'll have to pick that back up on our way, too. Oh, Nook's Cranny is yet to be opened. So, there's not a whole lot we can do right now. Oh, but wait. But wait, there is. Because we have some stuff in our inventory. That doesn't have to be in our inventory. We can drop it off in our house. Oh, hello, Jacques. What's the word? What's the latest? Just basking in the glow of it all. Sweet. And we'll be showing you Turtle Club today on how we go about getting new visitors as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and carefully put these in storage. And because I'm OCD about the way things go, we'll put that there. And those of you that may be watching this played back, or that are part of our Discord, um, or you know anything else along those lines, just letting you know that on our Discord. We're, uh, we got some stuff that we're plotting and planning, and ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to explain why the ooh is happening, guys, because I know this is probably making very little sense to anybody at the moment. Like, why, why is Mag going ooh? So, I broke a rock last night in my village because I needed to move a house, and I didn't want it taking spots, right? And generally speaking, your flowers are pretty safe. Unless you have somebody run through your flowers. I had someone on my island a couple nights ago that ran through my flowers. New player. It happens. And um, this rock wasn't here last night. Before 5 o'clock, this rock, as, as, as nice as it is to have, this rock here was actually a red hyacinth. So it looks like the rocks can replace flowers. 
I am a little concerned about my little pink flowers here though. Okay. So what can we do while we have like nothing in our inventory? We have no shovel even because we dropped all of our tools. We can go get our fossil appraised. Let's go do that. I hope everybody's having a good week this week. I know I'm having a pretty good week. Yesterday was a little bit on the rough side. Kind of got out of work, quote unquote. Swung around, got over to the couch, and just had one of those days where I, where I was having problems. Just focusing on getting things started. I turned the... TV on over to show. I don't even remember what I watched yesterday morning, guys, but it was one of those things that I had to stay awake so I could make sure Diggert was up and available for what she had to do. We already have one, so I must return it to your care. That's great. That's yet another thing to sell. And sell we shall. By the time we get there now, we should be getting closer to the hour which the Nook Boys will be open. Do, do, do. Oh, I did get some new outfits. Finally got some pants, guys. We have our Ben or Jerry outfit, our old school outfit. Now we have Dr. Mag. With the man bun going. We have biker mag also, because why not? Of course, you know, if I dressed like a biker, I probably would look just like this guy. And he's pretty much Barney Five's little sidekick. Still got some outfit options. I do like the magic wand, though. Ooh, a flamingo. A sound mixing board and a pagoda lantern. Interesting. What do we want to sell? We are offering all of these things here. We cannot sell the magic wand, which begs the question. Is it because we're holding it, or is it because it's an unbreakable item? Two hundred eighty-one thousand five hundred bells. That is a fantastic number. We'll just sell all that. Sounds really good. If we tell us to put that away, can we sell the wand? I'd like to sell this wand to you. We can sell the wand, okay. Huh. That begs the question on if whether or not it's unbreakable or not. Alright, we have nothing else there. Okay, so... Since we're flush with bells right now... A pedal board... Don't think we want that. It doesn't really match anything that I want. Is that Mr. Flamingo or Mrs. Flamingo? Mrs. Flamingo, okay. I kind of feel like I have to buy the flamingos. Like, they're just neat. Fourteen hundred bells for a garden lantern. We'll pass on that though. It's interesting, but doesn't quite get the neat silver approval. All right, let's see what else we got here. Candy um what? That's more like a picnic umbrella than a candy umbrella. Light blue wrapping paper. DIY stuff that never gets really good. Brick wall, green delicate blooms, 
Oh, that really matches what we're kind of going for either. So that's all good. Okay. So we shall exit stage this way. So we have two things we got to do today. One is we got to get our, all of our tools remade. Two, we're going to have to find who this belongs to. And three, we have a few houses to move. Um, we have a good pile of cash, and I think what we need to really do first is get the, the houses we've... Hey, DB, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. And yeah, it's been a... I wouldn't quite say a hot minute, but close. Life has been one of those multi-interesting things as of late. All right. We need hardwood. We need softwood. We need twigs. We need iron. We need rocks. And we need real wood. I think that's all we need for everything that we're gonna have to craft, and it's it's a lot. It's a lot we have to craft. Do 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 do. All right, we're gonna start off with two flimsy axes. Keep crafting. Make a second flimsy axe. And then next, we're going to go ahead and make us a stone axe. And then a axe axe. Hope your life's been going good, DB. Hope you're staying safe, staying healthy. Doing all you can. I also need to check to see what the the camp rating is now. We hit two star in the middle of the night last night. So I'm hoping we can hit three star soon enough. Got our fishing rod back. I technically could have been I mean, we have all these crafting materials. I could, instead of crafting all these right now, I could just bought them with the, the lots of the money we got and just made the upgrades. It just didn't seem right, though. I feel like if you're going to abandon all of your hard-earned tools on an island full of tarantula spiders, um, that's like a double word that didn't be used there, but... What's that? Uh, that's the one, that's the Mrs. Flamenco we bought. Okay, all right. Axe, axe, shovel, fishing pole, bug net, slingshot, vaulting pole, ladder, magic wand. And then store. And we recently discovered that money gets interest while it's in the bank. So we need to put all this in the bank after we've spent some of it for relocation expenses. All right. And Turnip prices. We forgot to check the turnip prices. Wait, what was that? Oh, that was the uh, the wooden backpack we had on the wall, I bet. Ah, uh, place that item on the... Sure, we'll do that. Why not? 
how did this get past you? Jack Norman, YouTube is having some uh, some issues with showing you who's streaming. Long and short of it, but no worries. It's all good. Okay, so we're doing some decoration or <laughs> decoration, decorate, but you can tell it's been a bit of a rough night tonight too for me, guys. We're doing some decoration, some redoing on the island today. Probably won't be opening the gates because we also want to do some things to get the town up on their on the rating so we'll have to find out though I am trying to I'm trying to figure out a way that we could possibly open the gates and leave them open for people to pop in and out not quite sure yet how I'll do that but I am I am working on it ooh well, you know, who says money doesn't grow on trees? They never played Animal Crossing. Alright, a few things have to happen, though. I need to move that tree back to where it goes. You can go in for turnips and leave. Um, well, I'm about to check turnip prices myself they may not even be worth your time because my turnip prices have been just bad like really bad like I think yesterday they got to like 83 after I woke up Turnip prices today, they're 140. I mean, it's nowhere near worth it, really. Sixty-six per turnip. Yeah, but they can get upwards in the several hundreds. I mean, what did you pay for yours? That's a better question now, too. Ninety-one bells. Yeah, 140, you'd get 50 per turn up. See, I paid like just shy. I, I paid close to that. I think it was just shy of 100. Depending upon what all I get done in the next like 40 minutes, should be able to still open the gates. Like, I want to check Able Sisters before I go to bed, too. Hey, it's the bug dude. It's Flick. Man. Kinda wish I hadn't. Man, I really wish I hadn't dumped all those tarantulas. Had I gone just a little bit further just a little bit further I would have been better off Ugh.
Looks like the crop's growing in pretty good. Those are all my fruit trees. Need to combine all these that I can. Put away, nope, that's 300 bells, it's not 30 bells. All right, let's see here, ladder. Oh, there's our money tree, oh man. Do I gamble with the money tree? You know what? I think I do at this point, right? I think we gamble with it and we hope for the best. Okay. Looking for our leaf eggs. Well, it's kind of a lot and it's kind of not. I mean, when you're looking at half a million for your, your debt, for your house, you know, 100K is, you know, a drop in the bucket. And at the same time, it's a lot of money. I'm like, I'm looking at 100,000 just to move the two people. I mean, and it really kind of is unfortunate because the two people that I I need to move right now they're my original two people that moved in. And those people, they, uh, their houses never change. Okay. Ah, oh, there's what I was looking for. I'm also looking for bees, but... Hmm, or wasps. That's a plot available, okay. That's... That's where we're at. Alright, so we got all that. Got all that. Hey, there's Bo. Let's talk to Bo. Hey, Bo. Alright. Too bad these won't stack. If I get some more coins it would maybe I can do that let's do this that would fix my inventory problem right do a hundred bells and then combine these
There we go. That saves me some room. What's the loom look like? Wow, that's big. Okay. So that's way big. All right, no one's no one's owned up to the the other thing yet. So no. Nope. All right, let's dig these flowers up. These flowers up. I didn't talk to Jacques at the very beginning. Hey, did you lose this Jacques? This thing. This hidden thing. More of a Tammy type item. Okay. Well. Tammy's the one who lost the item last time as well. Just need to figure out where Tammy is. Do, 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 do. Wow, so I've gotten no earth eggs out of most of these rocks. Now I did, or stone eggs, I did see where they reduced the drop rate considerably. According to, I forget which publication was talking about it. But they said that the, the drops would be reduced until um, egg day. bury that actually in the hole. Alright. Plant. There we go. You get three star rating. Yep, yep. You want iron ingots? Can we trade? Sorry man, I'm doing just random chores today. Not opening the gates until maybe maybe an hour from now. Unfortunately, I've been opening the gates and not been able to really focus on building my town out. But thanks, Pins and Needles, for popping in and saying, hey. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we're wanting to do, Jack Norman, is we're wanting to get them credits to roll. And it's just one of those things that we just haven't got there yet. Sorry guys, had somebody asking me a question on one of the discords that I help moderate. How many ingots do I have? Um, I had like 300 the other day, but I've been building a lot of stuff. I don't know how many ingots I have. Let me check. Um, yeah, I had like 300, but I've used like over half of them, apparently. I'm down to 177. Talk to Isabel, see your ratings. Yep, I need to do that still, Jack. Thank you for reminding me. Actually, I, I want to use these fences instead of the big ones I was using. I need to go and change that out. Cool deal, man. Um, just be patient, and if we have time to open the gates at the end of the stream, we will. And I'll be more than happy to get you those ingots for you. No, not that. We wanted. We we didn't want to take that piece out. Uh, pins and needles. Thank you for your time. You're gone. Good luck finding your iron ingots.
Thank you, moderator. How many, how many do we have? We have 13, so I can change that out from the barbed wire fence to the picket fencing. Now, from what I've been able to tell, trees will grow with fencing around them at the one fence mark. And each of these trees have been planted about a day apart, maybe two days apart at most. So we're testing to see if this will still grow, even though it's got one thing around it. If it will, then we have a real good way to save space and still block our trees off, make sure no one's taking things away that they shouldn't be taking. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to maybe make a, a money tree orchard or something. Which I hope to not have to do, but... Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we can plant these two. And we go put all this fencing away. Yeah, I saw that, Jack. Uh, Digrat actually got to that point. Um, she's able to do terraforming. All right, so I found out... So you can't hold anything, right? Like, if you go here, you can't use this item right now. Go here, you can put that in storage because you're not equipped on it. But here's the cool thing. I found this out about magic wands. Like, we, we can't do this. We can't use this. We can't use any of our tools. But if you use the magic wand... You can actually hold it in your house. And then you're no longer holding the fencing. And you can put it in storage. That was kind of a really cool use for the wand. I really like the magic wand for clothing storage. Because anything you register on the wand doesn't use your house storage. And finding out that extra little bit about that was super good in my opinion as well. All right, so we have a Tammy item we need to drop off. We have... Well, we got four more iron nuggets off that one rock. Cool. We're about to go check Isabel. And our turnips weren't good for pricing. Hopefully they'll go up a little bit later today. And of course, if we find that we have a really favorable turnip price, guys, and by really favorable, I mean something over the 200 mark, we'll absolutely be posting that inside the Discord and letting you know a, a Turtle Club only dodo code that'll allow you to come on the island and sell your turnips. Keep in mind, Turtle Club, I will not be able to post that information for about uh, 10 hours from now. Because that's when I wake up and get my day ready and all that kind of jazz. Alright, need to talk to Isabel. Also need to check our bulletin board. Fishing tournament. The post by Korok Man. Okay. Check our Nook Miles. Let's talk. Screech. Okay. Huh, I'm wearing something super itchy, it looks like. So let's find out what Isabel tells us about our island. I'm hoping we have all the stuff we need. But we're going to need to move two of our islanders to get our actual town laid out the way we want it to be. Let's talk island evals. Oh, three stars. Hot fudge. Have mercy. K 
KS. Hit someone with a net to solve their itch. Um, okay. It's KK Slider. The best KK Slider in the world. Call that dog, Tom Nook. Whip out that Nook phone. They have fleas. Okay. That's what I was thinking, use meaning. All right, so we got that out of the way, which is super awesome. Um, let's talk infrastructure. We want layout changes. We want to move a home. We want to move Sly's home. Yep, let's talk about it. Now, I usually play this at night, you know, so I'm used to talking to them at like 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. They actually get out in their jam jams and talk to you. I like how he doesn't even hand you the moving kit. He's just like, you have it in your pockets. Claim that, and yet another cardboard box. I'm collecting those. They are used for crafting people. All right, now we got to track down truffles. Jack Norman let us know that truffles has the, the mange. Where are you at, truffles? It's not often we get an actual reason to smack you with a a buck net, but and I say that this is all honesty and sincerity. We will absolutely smack you with a bug net. There's Jacques. So we're looking for truffles and we are looking for Tammy. Oh, truffles, where are you? I actually find that quite hilarious and awesome, by the way, Jack, that they've got fleas. I don't remember, because I played, I played Pocket Camp, I played a little bit of Happy Home Designer, and I played the original OG Animal Crossing. And I've watched somebody um, play the City Folk game, and I've played the board game. I don't remember Fleas in the original GameCube version at all. So that's quite funny in my opinion gonna have to move some of these houses too. I'm not looking forward to that at all. There's a rebob. Hey Bertha! I have glee now. Joy, delight, greeting, surprise, apologetic, sadness, laughter, fearful. Okay, so I need to register 
a new one. Wow. Their animals are bound to have fleas sometimes in life. You know, I, uh... I'll put that there. That's good. I, uh... I gotta remember where Tammy's living at. Or not Tammy, but Truffles. Truffles is... Over here. Out playing, come find me. That's not good. Truffles got fleas. We don't need to go find the flea person. They should be they should be at home. Taking a nice ivory soap shower. Like for real Turtle Club, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you have a lot more fleas per capita than you think you should have. Ivory soap will actually drown fleas. Um, it's one of the few safe soaps for most animals. I think this is the spot. And it creates a little film on their body and it suffocates them. We had a cat who unfortunately loved to just do everything it shouldn't have. And it wound up just bringing a whole um, just truckload of them into the house. He would get out. He wasn't supposed to be let out. And upon being let out, he would just wreak havoc wherever he would go. And he brought in a infestation. We wound up having to use ivory soap to kill them all. And it works. It works. 50-50 uh, solution in a water bottle for, for squirt bottle reasons will do a wonder of good. Now these are for fleas, guys. I know here lately we've been kind of given some COVID-19 information, but this is, this is totally different. Do not be squirting your grandma with with an ivory soap dish soap solution to protect her from the COVID. For that, you want to properly wash your hands with warm soap and antibacterial, warm water antibacterial soap. Um, make sure you don't touch your mouth, touch your face, if you can avoid it when you've done anything else. Now let's go ahead and tilt our camera to make sure we don't have uh, truffles in the trees. All of the fruit there. Yeah, you know, poor fleas to a point. Um, they are, you know, they are uh, invasive. Uh, they are just doing what they were built to do, right? They're just snacking on people and carrying disease. So they're just doing what they were, you know, created for. But many things that aren't all that pleasant to us people on this planet... We tend to view that as not being a, a good enough reason. Oh, check what um, Korok Man sent us. It's a lighthouse. So, no truffles. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Able Sisters isn't open yet. I was wondering, I was I was worried, not even wondering, worried that Truffles might have brought the fleas into Able Sisters. Wouldn't that be horrifying to go shopping for clothing and find out that somebody infested with fleas got there? I wonder if they can get into my little pinned off area. Let me, let me check that. I don't see a truffles. Where did it go? Any other day of the week, I'd be trying to shoot this thing out of the sky and I wouldn't be able to shake a tree for my life. Oh well. Hey Drew, how's it going, buddy? 
Oh, these are all grown. While we're here, we might as well do this. Shake this tree. Shake that tree. Grab some cherries. I wish there was an eat stack or eat all option. It'd make this a little less time consuming. Do 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 do. Oh, and we can actually put away all that money while we're at it. Uh, me and Digrat were doing pretty good. Um, Digrat um, had a really good health appointment yesterday. We did the, the remote doctor thing. You know, this has been one of those really weird things, right? With all the changes that the nation's going through, with all the work from home, employment. You know, Teladoc is something that's been, you know, sprinkled here and there. And... It was, you know, was kind of interesting the way. Come on. Just line your shot up, Mag. No, that wasn't you lining your shot up. But, you know, we we never really had a need for Teladoc. And Digret happened to have a, a thing come up where she had one. And it was really, really kind of, uh, you know, stuff we used to, like, watch on sci-fi shows in the 90s kind of thing. It was kind of cool. Yes, yes, that does decrease your your rating. Um, dropped items will decrease your rating. Twigs on the ground will decrease your rating. There are a lot of things that arguably shouldn't decrease your rating that will in fact decrease your rating. But basically what the game does with your town rating is it forces you to play every day, which isn't too horrible. Um, actually, this also needs to be dug up. It wasn't too terrible um, back in ye old days because the, the weed thing could get out of hand, but Wisp, the, the ghost, he would de weed your whole entire place for you. Yeah, it, it was. It was, Drew. Um, and it wasn't even, you know, there's been a lot of people. That have mentioned that, you know, like, um, various things can be done by Teladoc. The one that most people think about is, and one of the reasons why we, you know, hadn't really had one yet, is uh, mental health kind of concerns, right? And that always just struck me as a little bit odd, depending upon your household situation. Because, I don't know about you, I've, I've been to a mental health professional a couple times in my life for various things. You know, you, you have traumatic events happen in your life, and you probably need to work them through with people. You know, it's just like anything else that you could go to a doctor for. But in, in the case of my situation... Oh, there's truffles. Are you still itchy? Itch eek. Okay, here we go. I caught a flea. Curse is lifted. Rudy. Yeah, yeah. So, so the m mental health providers, you know, that's usually what Teladoc's being utilized a lot for, because in their profession, having a conversation and being able to pick up on like facial cues really easy to do through a remote work type situation when compared to the other environment now there are a lot of things in my opinion oh interesting interesting but that said we gotta go give fleas to the museum too. 
Okay. Caught the fleas. We still got to get to Tammy. Tammy is floating around here somewhere. And we still got some stuff to dig up. But, like, depending upon what you needed to speak with a therapist for, or have a, a psychologist kind of go over you with, I don't know if telepresence would be the best way. Um, so, there is a friend of mine that will remain nameless. Um, they've had some issues going on in their life, and because of this, they have to use you know, the, the COVID-19 situation, the shelter in place that was issued for their state, they have to remote to their their therapy sessions. And they're currently in a group home kind of setup. You know, they're not, you know, not a group home and what you guys are possibly thinking when I use those terms. They're living with a lot of family members in one house. Um, and part of their issues right now have to do with some of those family members. And so having shelter in place and they can't be going to such a doctor in person and they're in a room full of all the people that they're wanting to discuss the issues with their doctor with, it's not really a good situation for them. Which unfortunately causes them more anxiety more stress more issues it's kind of a whole entire downward spiral kind of package at that point all right okay so we still need to find tammy i haven't seen tammy while we were looking for um truffles I mean, Tammy could be home, I guess. Did we at least, you know, we put slice stuff down. Okay, cool. I'm sleeping. Well, that's why we haven't seen Tammy. Tammy sleeps late in like Digret does. Okay, well, that makes sense. Okay. All right. So we got that. We got our future plot set up. So the last thing we really need to do before we get on Nick Miles' adventure going on for this part of the stream is we need to relocate Tammy, who is sleeping. I don't know if we can do that, though. Let's talk infrastructure, Nook. We want layout changes. Okay. All right. Is there anything else? Yes. Let's talk infrastructure. And sell some land. We can do that. Yeah. You know, it, it definitely wouldn't be easy, in my opinion, Drew. It, it's one of those things, like, you know, if you're having issues with in-laws or cousins or children or parents... It would be really difficult in a household full of people where there's very little privacy the way I have heard it explained to me um, to be talking about that, especially in a situation where the therapy session might get heated. I mean, I've, I've had some sessions in the past where I've not been the chill sold person that I'm always on YouTube, right? That that happens. People people aren't always jovial in nature. Ah, come on. We dig that, we dig that. Okay, so this is where we corner that at. Hey, excellent. Let's, this is the spot. Okay. Bam. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's it. 
you only get 10 villagers on your island, if I recall correctly. And counting Tammy's house, once we move Tammy's home, we'll have all of them. And I'll, I'm going to terraform this and shape that once we can to make this a bit better residential area. But this is definitely my residential area. So, okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so we got all that, we got all that, we got all that. That's all done. Uh, Jack Norman, if you're still with us, are, are you wanting to sell your uh, turnips on this island for the 140? I don't think that's a good deal at the moment, personally. Um, considering what I know what they can get to, but... You know, that is something that you were discussing on on the chat a while back. All right. Oh, the turnips actually went on the oven? Cool. I wasn't even aware of that. Okay, so we're about to open those. The only thing that I'm going to do real quick, Jack, is I'm going to... I'm OCD about my storage, so sorry about that. I'm going to go make a real quick hit to the um, museum to put these things away. Bum, 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 bum. And if I recall, Jack, we're, uh, we're friends on Switch, right? Well, Mag, there's an easy way to tell. Let's see. Is there... I'm looking to see if we have a... Norman or Jack Norman or something similar on here. We are cool. Find games like this until it'll help when you're looking at civilization. Yeah. Oh, John. Okay. Cool. All right. So, let me stop. Wait a minute. Get the museum hit real quick. To a JoJo reference. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so, have you read JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Or have you watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Out of curiosity, watched it. Okay, if you if you ever if you ever find yourself looking to read a good manga, reading all of JoJo's is great. I recommend reading it not with the traditional translator uh, done through Shonen or the company that does it. I rec. Pardon me, I have the hiccups. Oh my goodness. I recommend um, a fan translation. And the reason why is most fan translations have some notes in the margins typically for translations and for sound effects and similar things. And um, I'm presuming you watched it all up to where Netflix is right now, right? Everything is a JoJo reference at this point. Oh my gosh. Even JoJo's is a JoJo's reference. At this point. Um, yeah, so if you've watched all the stuff on Netflix, there's the... So when they are fighting, um, the stand user in the... I'm trying not to spoil anything. When they're fighting the mother stand user, there's a scene that was completely cut out of the anime because it was just that bad. Yeah. Oh, oh, Golden Winds on... Oh, my gosh. 
Okay. Okay. Because it's actually... Is it Golden Wind? Is that what they, they put it there on? Because it was Golden Spin was the... Yeah, there, there's... Yeah, I definitely recommend reading it because, like... Um, what was it? Frozen Ice, I think was his name. The uh, the Black Hole um, stand user. His name's actually Vanilla Ice in the in the actual manga. Like all of the all of the stand users in that whole entire arc. Um. Stardust Crusaders and all Stardust Crusaders, all the stand users are e are all riffs on um, songs and musician names. It's just it's just that great. Do an online play. Yeah, Zipperman. Um, yeah, Roger. But that's not Roger. That's Orville. But yeah, the, the whole entire the whole entire thing is just super awesome for JoJo's. Okay, have a good one, Drew. All my friends. But yeah, DB Master, absolutely everything's a, a JoJo's reference at this point. Um, I, I saw the the greatest meme within a meme for one of the JoJo series. It's the Dio meme, where it's you were expecting this, but it was Dio all along. And it was you were expecting a new big bad villain, but it was me, Dio, all along. Um, the Stardust Crusaders were after the tarot cards, but... The users of the tarot cards kind of all had, um, yeah, they had the tarot thing, but then when they get to Egypt, all those are the music guys, like Oingo and Boingo and um, Vanilla Ice, um, God, what was the other one? A whole Horses Stand was something else as well. But it's, hey, Charles, man, how's it going, buddy? It's Dio Kirby. <laughs> Kona Dio Da. <laughs> but yeah, the, the best meme was that I saw the other day. It just made me laugh. I mean, I busted a gut. I just finished watching Stardust on, on Netflix. And it was like the opening sequence shot from, the, from Stardust. And it was like, you're expecting after... After cars and wham, you're expecting the boss to end all bosses. But it was me, Dio. Yeah, the Emperor, the world. I saw another one that had, like, the people singing We Are the World. It was a still shot of that old 80s song. And all of the people in the actual music group were all replaced with Dio. That one was pretty good, too. The gates are open. If you're ready to come in, sir. Boom, boom, boom. I think this is Sly's. Yeah, this is Sly's house. So this is Tammy's. We're going to wait patiently for Tammy to come out. Um, no dodo code. Just look for your, your friends. We're letting anybody who's friends with us on Nintendo Switch join at this moment. Figure that was just the easiest way. They won't let you in. Okay, so there's a good chance then, uh, Jack, that we're not friends then. 
Um, no, there's Jotaro. That's you, I would believe, right? So we're absolutely friends. Let me go back to the gates, close the gates, and reopen it. If at first you don't fricassee fry fry hen turtle club. Orville, you have failed me, sir. Close these gates. Oh. Give me a second. I got this. I know exactly what, what happened. I'm not on that tune. Your friend's on that one, but I'm not streaming on that one anymore because we wanted to keep being able to like rebuild the town and all that. And you can only do that if you're the primary Switch user who got to Animal Crossing first. This will work. Sorry about that, Jack Norman. So let's go ahead and get this going then. And we're on just in time to see some more announcements. Just in time for Able Sisters to open. This is Jack's going to just pop in real quick. All right. Nothing on there, okay, sweet. All right, come on, Dodo, wake up, pour your coffee. We don't want to fly, we want, sh we, we want to, oh, okay. We want visitors. We want online play. Okay. All my friends. Opening the gate now. Okay. Now Jack Norman should be able to get in. One of the things we'll probably be doing tomorrow morning is we will most likely be reorganizing this tune's house to get it somewhere else. We're moving Tammy's house. We have some fruit trees to still move. Roger, this isn't Sonic. <laughs> Roger Orville will burn out. All right. Boom. Yes, I do have Megalovania as my tune. You're the first person that's watched the streams, Jack Norman, that's figured out that it's Megalovania. If you actually go to the tune editor and play it at, like, the speed that it will process the tunes, it sounds a lot better. 
And if you talk to Zipper the bunny, it sounds like it's right. But yeah. It's been Megalovania for about a week and a half now. Funny skeleton. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I need to go back to playing that. We uh, we own Undertale. It's a great game. We started a pacifist playthrough. And then we just sort of got involved with every other good game out there. Which is a shame because Undertale is such a great game. It, it, it's like a spiritual cousin to Earthbound, in my opinion. Hey, Victoria! Welcome, welcome. We currently have turnips at 140 bells per turnip. And Jack is wanting to come in and sell their well known partier, sell their turnips off. So we're letting them come in for that real quick. And then we're going to go for a Nook Miles visit. We dug up an Earth Egg. We sure did. But yeah, we absolutely are planning to have our town terraformed once we have our, our concert. Oh, you was right there, Jack. That's that's the shop right there. Seventy-eight this afternoon. Oh wow. Oh, Jack, thank you. Cherry blossom clock. Oh, that's awesome. And eight bamboo shoots. Wow, that's more than what we need. But, I think we just need four, but that is amazing. We'll be able to plant them, actually, this right here is not probably a bad spot just to plant them while we're processing the rest of everything. Uh, plant one. But yeah, that would be kind of, you know, it would be kind of fun one of these times to go to Victoria's Island. Because, like, right now it's dark on Victoria's Island. Yeah, Digrat was kind of doing that for hers, too. I'm, I'm really hoping that one of these days we'll be able to showcase Digrat's Island. I think it would be fun to be able to do, like, a, a Turtle Club Island showcase. I need to figure out how we could do that. Tarantula time. Uh huh. Yeah, I uh, I got so many tarantulas last night, but I I had my my net break, and so I was like, well, I need to build myself a, a metal net so it doesn't break again. And then I wound up getting gold pieces and other stuff that I really just didn't have time for. Where'd you go, little dragonfly? Did I catch you? Boom. All right. You can't get into this game since you like playing other game. And you need to play Breath of the Wild again. Yeah, which other game are you playing right now, TB Master? I know you're playing Pokemon a lot. And I haven't let my Pokemon game... Um, go entirely bad, but I, I'm I kind of get a little itchy when I think about all of the the uh, the raids I've missed, like in a really bad way. 
it's all good, Victoria. I, I got to be shutting her down in a little bit. But, but uh, maybe uh, Friday we do the extra long stream. Yeah, that's right. Mystery Dungeon came out. And CTR. CTR, I, uh, I still need to get into that. I'm... There's so much going on with the games right now. I, I gotta tell you, Turtle Club, if there is ever... If there is ever a time for a situation like this to kind of happen, where a lot of us were going to be indoors for a very, very long time, um, this is not the worst time for it. Oh, congrats, DB. Yeah, developer ghosts are really difficult. Um, I'm planning on farming a whole lot of those, Victoria. We, we might be able to work out some sort of exchange. I don't think I have any extra recipes yet. Let me go check my recipe dump. Stonewall, Cherry Blossom Umbrella. So I do have an extra Cherry Blossom Umbrella. So I'll go ahead and save that. All right. Did you get your turnips taken care of, Jack? Barely a second ahead of it. Wow, that's my 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 thought processes are starting to run down a bit. Cut your first pedal when Korok Man was here. You know, Korok Man had a real good time. Korok Man really enjoyed being able to participate with the Turtle Club again. That was rather fun. I, if we can find other ways for Korok Man to visit, that'll yeah. You sold them cool. All right. Okay, so are you still on the island? I don't remember seeing it saying you left. This tune here's got extra. Someone's leaving. Okay. Oh, no worries, Victoria. No worries. All right. But yeah, I'm, I'm still working on, once I get the whole entire town terraformed, to where it'll be really usable for anyone coming in, I, I do plan to absolutely figure out a way that I can turn this on, open the gates for the Turtle Club, and just leave it up the whole entire day. This person's just here for the ticket, basically. Nope, we don't want to make another selection. We want to come out here real quick. We want to... Drop can't drop things here we need to place the dragonfly place the bird wing drop that ticket drop that we can drop the cherry blossoms and drop the clock and drop these eggs All right, and now we can go ahead and just do a save. Currently at the original Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team. Okay. Yeah, Mystery Dungeon's fun. It just, oh man. Way too much cool stuff going on right now. 
Inclines are one of the reasons for the ratings. Stairs or bridges? Oh, yeah, I, I plan to. I wasn't meaning to do that. I was meaning to switch profiles. I'm so used to the GameCube version of this. Still, like, muscle memory from almost two decades ago is still stuck with me, Turtle Club. It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Okay. Close. Now we open with our profile here. All right. Speaking of our Discord that we're talking about, there's Nightbot posting it right there. We try to talk on it when we can. It's it's not been as active lately as usual, but that should be changing though. Go grab all of our stuff. Do do do. Grab that, that, that. Yeah, the it's not, it's not that hard to get the three star. Um, like having ten villagers, or having lots of decorative stuff and some flowers and trees. Um, the biggest thing my understanding about getting the three star is it does take a little bit of time because you're usually going to hit one star period when you first start because you have to get more villagers to get to two star period we want to make a donation blathers we would like to donate these awesome things that are Twin God. But yeah, I kind of like, I was expecting I might have had three star today, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Okay, let's go into Nab Oh, Mabel Sisters. This is this is the weirdest thing about the. The magic wand. Oh, and then I have to really get to bed. Oh my gosh. Not going to be able to do what we want to do. But that's alright. Alright. You can use the wand in basically any room. To use the changing room, you have to de-wand yourself. The biker jacket. Colorless coat. A royal shirt. Huh. Interesting. Denim pants. Cropped pants. Cropped pants, unfortunately, don't really fit well. 
ancient belted robe, though. That looks kind of cool. Uh, if it was some better color pairings, you could do an Ishigo suit. Hup, a no mask in the pompadour wig. Speaking of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> Pig nose, some everyday socks. Those would work for some of the stuff I got going on. I was talking about this in the Discord the other day, but like... So, men's pants, right? Like, those are men's pants, but they're basically jeans. These are cropped pants. Those aren't really a man's fashion. They're, they're more like capri pants. So, those really don't quite work for anything that you want to do in an outfit. I mean, technically... If I go to work boots, they work. But if I'm wanting to do, like, khakis and some wingtip shoes or something like that, it just doesn't work at all. I do want to use the, get the doctor's mask, though. Because those are kind of interesting. The muscle tank doesn't really work either. A royal shirt's way expensive. It's not exactly something that I'm interested in. I do kind of like the ancient belted robe, though. That's kind of neat. Bohemian tunic dress. See, there's there's some really good effeminate products here. But for male identifying characters, not as much. Tube socks. I guess those would work because I do have a football uniform I'm kind of getting together. And I don't know what a winkle picker is, but they don't look what I would traditionally identify with masculine either. Basketball shoes. Nope. Oh, okay. Purchase. Yes, please. And sure, we'll wear them out. Only because I'm slightly off put typically by just coming out of here without any clothing on. All right. Wow, it's, it's a lot lighter than what I was thinking it was going to be. Well, Turtle Club, with as late as it has gotten, it'll be time for us to say our party. I appreciate everyone's come in, all you on the Lark Squad there, for coming in and saying, hey, uh, our sponsor who showed up here today, Drew Benson, thank you for coming in. Jack Norman Games and DV Master starting the actual stream today with us. Thank you very kindly for that. Always glad to see the first people in. Always appreciate to see the last people out too, though. And everybody in between. Charles, who showed up. Appreciate that as well. Victoria. We had quite a lot of people come in today. I really, really, uh... I'm glad I'm able to see a lot of people. I, I am... Sadden a little bit that the reason why is because of what's going on in the world, but that is what it is. But I really do thank you all for coming in. I'm going to have myself a good night. You all have a good morning, good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner. And depending upon where you're at the world, it could be any of those things. But whatever you're about to do, Turtle Club, stay safe, wash your hands, and have a good one. Thanks for watching.